What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out how to install our Thule Wing Bar Kit in our 2020 Toyota RAV4. This is a great roof rack option, helping you get things out of the inside of your vehicle. And let's say you wanted to haul a rooftop box for more space. You get out there, there's more leg room for your passengers in the vehicle. Or just hauling stuff that you couldn't do otherwise, like a kayak. You can get kayak air up here, help haul your kayak. You don't have to try and jam it in this vehicle. It's not going to work out for you. Bike racks, roof baskets, that really gives you a bunch of options to add onto your vehicle. The wing bars themselves are an aero design crossbar, which means they're meant for the wind to travel along them and not add any friction at all. You can open up here and you see you also have T-Track option here at the top. You would just slide the T-Track in the weather strip. Instead, if you didn't want to use the clamp round style, you can do that. It's nice to have those two options and not have to pry this off every time you're going to put a new T-Track accessory in. Pull it back over. Also want to show you how sturdy they are when it's all said and done. I'm shaking the whole car back and forth and you don't hear any rattling or see any movement. So that's good to have that confidence when you're going down the road. Checking out the podium, you can see this spot can be switched out for a lock core. But right now you just take something flat and turn the plastic and you can remove the cap. Once you look inside, you can see this metal plate attaches to the fit kit that's made and designed for this RAV4 specifically and a fixed mounting point right here. The stud screws in there, we add the nut, and that's what secures it to your roof. Again, there's no measuring, you don't have to move it back and forth, it goes right here. I'll shake it one more time. You can see that the cover wasn't covering up any movement or anything on the inside. You can see it's just as sturdy as it looked on the outside. Now the podium's weight rating is 165, so keep that in mind when you're loading up your accessories. Taking a closer look at the foot kit, you can see what I'm talking about. It was designed specifically for these vehicles. It fits and molds right in there, and that rubber bottom helps keep it from scratching anything on the top of your car. Now let's talk about some measurements. The crossbars themselves are 47 inches long, and let's see how much space we have in between each one. Looks to be from center to center, 33 inches in between, which is important for whatever accessories you put on top. Sometimes they have fixed mounting points where they can attach, and you want to make sure you have the right crossbar spread for whatever you want to put on top. Another measurement to keep in mind is from the top of the roof to the bottom of the roof bar. That would be three and one quarter. And then from the top of the roof to the top of the roof bar would be four and one quarter. And those are good to keep in mind just as you're adding accessories on top. Sometimes they attach via clamps and the clamps take up a little bit more space here. You want to make sure you have that room. Overall, I think the wing bars look great on this Toyota RAV4. They kind of blend in and look like they're supposed to be there. Also, the install was pretty easy. I know I've mentioned it a few times, but I was surprised too. You just install those studs, then run the roof rack on there, and you're pretty much done. Let's check out how we did it. The first part of our installation, we're going to go ahead up top on the roof, and on our raised rails here, we're just going to go ahead and pop out this section right here. I'm going to use a trim panel tool and lightly pry up. You can see there's a tab right there. Pop that cover off. Now we'll take our replacement cover and install it. You can see which one goes on which side. You can see the RL on there. That's the rear left, which would be your driver's side. Just pop it in place there. It's got the nice hole here, so we can add the stud next. Taking our stud here, we're just going to screw it into the hole in the top. It comes with an included tool to help you tighten it down. There we go. Now it's in there. Here at the table, I kind of got it laid out what you're going to get with the kit here. This one's already put together. I'm going to show you how we got this. We got the Thule podium itself, the foot kit. This is the exact fit to this vehicle, our RAV4 today, and the metal bracket. So how we're going to start this? Is we're going to simply slide this metal bracket into the foot kit here. You're going to match up this hole with this hole. Just kind of, you can see the grooves in there. Just go ahead and slide it down in there. It's nice and snug. Even without a bolt through it or anything, you can see it's not going to pop right back out. So that's awesome. Now we'll attach our podium. It's going to hold up here. Match up these two holes with the holes in there, I don't know if you can see those or not. We're essentially going to run this through this. 
and you just lightly put the screws in. Don't tighten down too much because then you won't be able to slide onto the bar. With it all assembled, we're ready to go ahead and slide it on our bar. You just want to match up this with the groove. Slides right on. Now, if you had these over tightened, this part would be up a little bit more and it wouldn't go in. That's why I said you just have to loosely put it in there. Easily slide it on. We'll go ahead and add our cap at the end. And then we're gonna set it on top of the vehicle. Remember, it's rubber padded on the feet or the fit kit itself, so if you do set it down on the roof, it's not gonna scratch anything. We gently set it down over there. Line up the stud with the hole in the center here. There we go. You can see how it falls down into place and goes perfectly around the raised rail. Now with this whole process, I've repeated all the steps I've told you on the opposite side as well. You can see me do this last one. Line it up like that. Now with it still loose, we can also check how far the bars are actually going to stick out from a vehicle and kind of get them straightened here. We're going to come back up here and tighten down these screws. That way the bar won't slide along the top. We'll add our lock washer and our nut to the stud in there. That way it keeps it all down and attached to the roof. Get it hand tightened and come back with that same tool and tighten it snug. With that tightened down, we can give the shake test. You can see I'm shaking the entire vehicle. These bars aren't moving at all. Last step, just add our cover onto the podium. Use any flat blade screwdriver or anything just to turn it and lock it. Like I said before, it's that easy, we're done. That does it for a look at the Thule wing bar installation with the Thule podium on our 2020 Toyota RAV4. Hope this helped.